OK, you want the most efficient way of inserting rows and columns in Microsoft Excel. Now let's start with columns. A column will be inserted to the left of the column you select. So if I want to insert a column between age and name, I would select age. So I'm doing so by right clicking on the C at the top of the column. And then I go to insert and you can see it inserts the column. Now by default, the new column will be formatted exactly the same as the column to the left. Now that's not what I want here. I want the lighter color blue applied to the cells. Now that's easily achieved by going up to this little insert options button and then specifying that you want the new column to be formatted same as right. And you can see it even applies the same column width as the column to the right. Now, if you want to insert more than one column, just select the number of columns you want to insert. So if I want two columns, I'd select two columns, right click, insert, and it inserts those columns and I can choose the format for those new columns. Now, if you want a shortcut key for inserting a column, what you do is you'd start by selecting one cell and the new column will be inserted to the left of that cell. To select the whole column, you'd use control space on your keyboard and then control shift equals, that will insert the new column. Now, what about rows? If I select a row, the new row will be inserted above the row I've selected. So I right click on the five, for example, insert, it creates a new row above that row. And by default, it's formatted the same as the row above. Now I don't want that, I want it formatted as the row below. So I go again to this little insert options button, format same as below. If I want to insert more than one row, then I just select the number of rows I want to insert, right click, insert, and choose my format. Now to do this with a shortcut key, you'd select a cell and the new row will be inserted above that cell. Shift space on your keyboard and then control shift equals and that will insert the new row. Okay, let's move on to the next sheet. Now in this sheet, I have two tables and that's going to complicate things. Now using the previous method, if I want to insert a row in this table, it's also going to insert it in the adjacent table. Now I don't want that to be the case. So what I've got to do is select cells rather than the entire row. So if I wanted a new row above this row, I'd select those cells, then I'd right click, insert, and then I have to say what I want to do with those selected cells. Well, I want to move them down. So I click on OK and it creates that new row. It doesn't affect this table over here and I get the option to format same as below. Now, another way around this is to put this data in an Excel table. So to do that, you click anywhere in the table and then insert table. You can also use this shortcut key, control T. Click on OK. It does apply some formatting, but you can get rid of that formatting by going up to this table styles menu and then clearing the format. If I want to insert a row in a table, all I need to do is right click in a cell and then choose insert. And you have the option there to insert a table row above. And you can see it doesn't affect this other table. If I want to insert more than one row, I'd select that number of rows, right click, insert, table rows above. Now you'll have the same problem if you've got tables underneath the table that you want to insert columns in. So for example, if I insert a column here, you can see it also inserts a column in the second table. So what I would do is I'd select cells rather than the whole column, right click, insert. I want to shift cells to the right. So I just click on OK and it creates that new column for me. And again, if I put this in a table, so Control T, click on OK. And then if I insert a column, so right click in a cell, insert, a column to the right or to the left, I say to the left, it doesn't affect the table beneath. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.